Well, thank you so much, first of all, <laughs>、uh, for,、uh, for your time being with us on our YouTube channel. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Netherlands. And I'm from Barcelona in Spain. Oh, okay. A great combination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and combination.、Uh, okay. And、uh, you're wearing、uh, an interesting t shirt.、Uh, yeah, you got a t shirt. Uh, where did you get it? In here? Or? No, I bought it actually back in the Netherlands、What? a couple of years ago.、Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, one of my, it's actually my favorite brand. <laughs> oh, it's a brand? Yeah, I think it's called、um, Blue Ridge. No, it says. Or no. It's a strange diffusion. Uh, okay. Com- uh-huh. Between Japanese and another language?、Or? Yeah, it doesn't say oh, 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 between what, but、uh, it's,、yeah. a, it's a kind of interesting or strange fusion. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, yeah. <laughs> it's a title of the, the manga or something? Or no? I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay. I think the brand is called、um, Blue Rich.、Uh-huh. So I always thought that it said Blue Rich, but apparently, apparently not. What do you mean? Yeah, so that is a Kimio na parts are like a strange or. Okay. Yeah. Okay.、Um, and the Yugo is a, the, the fusion.、Uh, just so. Yeah.、Uh, you're in vacation time now? Yeah. It's a traveling.、Yeah. traveling. Okay, cool. And this is first time in Japan? Yeah, first day. For, first day? First day.、Uh, what, did made you, what made you to come to Japan? Why did you yeah, choose Japan this time? Yeah, I think what you said, the cultural difference, cultural shock、mm. to you. No. Yeah, I think we, are, we wanted to go to Japan for a couple of years already, and just because it's、uh, such a different country as、well. other places in the world,、mm-hmm. pretty much all the, all the other places in the world.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, it's a lot about the arts and the crafts and now how delicate. Everything is how well done everything is.、Oh. Yeah. So, for the old art history that you have.、Oh. So, you are an artist or are you just interested yeah, in it? I studied art. Do you, oh. oh, you study art? Yeah, I、oh. studied painting. Oh, painting? Yes.、Yeah. I see. The painter I only know is a Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but、uh, oh, I see.、Yeah. And so, you're interested in the、like, older style in,、yeah. as a painting in Japan? Like,、yeah. uh, It's really, really beautiful. Really delicate, really, you know. Katsushika Hokusai, like a ukiyoe. Yeah. Do you know about that? I don't know many、oh, origins. I just got into, that's why we came here, I guess,、mm. just to、oh, okay. learn a bit more. Yeah, so today we saw it for the first time in the museum in Osaka, in the Osaka Museum.、Mm. Yeah, so we're still discovering it. but...、Yeah. Mm. And the buildings, carpentry as well, how everything is built. You know? That's one of the other things I think Japanese have a rich like, history in, in carpentry, you know, and joining methods as well. I know. Building methods.、Uh-huh. So it's really cool to see, I think.、Uh, yeah. I think they're the working on the, yeah. Yeah, exactly. the building. It, it's, I think it's、uh, the fixing. <laughs> yeah, But I, I think they should hunt, have a, like, a special technique, I think, for the,、yeah. the temple and the, the shrine. Yeah, I think. joining everything together, not a big beams together.、Uh-huh. I have a lot of、uh, typical Japanese styles, right? They're、uh-huh. very beautiful. Yeah. My father loves it as well. Back to all in the Netherlands, he's always trying the Japanese method. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Your fa- father or、yeah, a, a cop competitor or something? No, just the hobbyist. Oh, the hobby. He likes、oh. to try like the Japanese joining methods in,、uh-huh. in carpentry and woodworking. So he has Japanese handsaw, for example, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're so precise and、yeah. they connect them without nails, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly.、Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, and they work without nails and screws. That's really cool that they join it together without that. Right, right, right. right.、Yeah. Uh, I see. So, how many days do you have in Japan in total?、Like、18 days. 18 days? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Which could be more. So, starting from Osaka, then? Yeah. How are you going? After, I think we're going to spend one day in Hiroshima,、mm-hmm. just in the coast, and then we're going up north. Well, Kyoto first. Oh, yeah, true. Then we might do a day trip to Nara.、Mm. Then we're going sort of northwest、uh-huh. and then do a loop to Tokyo.、Oh. Okay. That, like, each the city or each location has a great、uh, architecture,、yeah. I think. So maybe very interesting for you guys.、Yeah. Especially like, in Nara, there's a, a huge Buddha, do you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah the Buddha in the huge building. That wooden、oh, yeah. building, yeah, and yeah. It, I, also I think it's the like a world biggest or old, oldest wooden Buddha, some something、oh, yeah. uh, the building.、Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'll check that.、Uh, yeah, a lot of things to see.、Yeah. <laughs> so many. And how about like a food 
do you like jet fuel? Well, yeah, we just had two meals, one in Seven oh. Eleven. Seven Eleven? Yeah. Yes, so oh. yeah, when we arrived very late, just, so just a quick meal. Uh, and then we just went to our first restaurant to have ramen, and, then, uh-huh. and it was just amazing right away. Uh-huh. First one we tried, and it was so <laughs> We just came, yeah, as well for the party. We're so excited to try all these different things. Right. Uh, Tonight we're going to go to the district where they have a lot of street food. What is it? Oh, um, Dotonpori? Yeah, is yeah that one. Uh, yeah. So we're going to try out the street food. Mm. Yeah. So we're pretty excited for that. Yeah, they have uh, like a lot of restaurants too. Yeah. 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 With an uh, interesting sculpture, like uh, the 3D signs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's really fun to look at those yeah. things because they, they move. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's like uh, the steam park, the question, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, well, you've been to Dotonbori area. Not yet. Uh, you're going, I said, yeah, yeah, you're going to uh, Dotonbori area. Yeah. <laughs> and there, there is a, like a, like a three dimensional sign. So, uh, it's not, uh, there are not only like a street food, you can also enjoy like a regular, like a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it's maybe... inside of the restaurant or outside? Well, it's like a street and no cars are allowed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like an arcade without the roof. It's not a wide the street, but okay. because many pe- people are yeah, there. Like yeah, the yeah. Yes. And the uh, three-dimensional signs are from the, the both sides, and uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. And they kind of allow it too, but... Uh, and the Japanese is there as well? Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. The okay. eat there or inside the, the restaurants. Okay. And then near there, there is a Kromon Ichiba, uh, which is a, like a fish market. Yeah. Thing. So that that is more like Street food, I okay. think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, uh-huh. okay. You've been to other countries too? Yeah, we both traveled around a little bit. Uh-huh. We both went to South America uh-huh. independently. Uh, we lived in Australia for about two years, which uh-huh. is where we met. Uh-huh. Um, I've done a little trip in, in uh, Southeast Asia as well. Uh-huh. And then after Australia, we came to uh, New Zealand. And before Australia, we've been to Sri Lanka as well. So may I ask uh, what kind of work do you uh, do in Australia? Yeah, in Australia I used to work in construction. Ah, I see. And I used to do reception and management in the hostel. Ah, and are you moving kind of around the world and work? Yeah, that has been what our travels has been so far a little bit, doing, uh, for example, volunteer work in South America, uh-huh. and staying in one place and for a couple of months and then moving to the next place uh-huh. and uh, doing new new volunteer work. Uh-huh. And in Australia, we've done something similar, similar working in different places and, and moving around and getting a new job. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're kind of looking to settle a little bit now, uh-huh. have one home, uh-huh. not moving so much. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to move around yeah. and work. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. if you work, if you live somewhere for a couple of months, you see it in a very different way than just visiting yeah. for a couple of days. Uh huh. So yeah, we really like that. That's uh-huh. all. Yeah. So you, do you have uh, any plan to uh, work in Japan? And then <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh, yeah. We we it will be cool. Yeah, it'll be very cool. But yeah. we don't speak the language at all. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's cool. So, which uh, like a country or which cities are, are probably good to you guys and comfortable to yeah yeah, yeah yeah to settle you think? all over the world so far yeah uh, yeah I would love to live in Mexico <laughs> Mexico <laughs> ah, I, I really love like Mexico it. too you like Mexico it's uh-huh. really nice. and I would say Melbourne has been very good to us oh yeah, Australia. Australia yeah, yeah. very very good living there yeah mm, I see. which part of Mexico have you been? When I'm at, uh, in the south until uh, Mexico City. Oh. Yeah, I didn't go to the north. Uh, like a Yucatan area? Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I used to live in uh, Michoacan. Okay. So okay. I, I love the art too. Yeah. 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 Have you seen the art yeah. from there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. That's why I think I feel like I want to move there. Mm. Okay. Okay. Really beautiful. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, th- thank you so much for oh, your yeah. time. It was very fun talking to you. And uh, what can we ask you? What is the, the channel? Right. Thank you so much for your time and uh, being on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you from? So I'm from Russia, but I'm currently living in Switzerland. 
I see. Uh, which part of uh, Switzerland? Da, was it not? What? Is that a, the German it's north, side? Or? It's oh. German side oh. on the north border in uh, France and Germany. Oh, okay. And now uh, this is your vacation time? Or? Yes, that's vacation. So I was on a business trip in Korea uh -huh. and then uh, decided to combine it with uh, uh -huh. visiting J Japan. Mm -hmm. Because that was my long-term dream to oh. come. Oh, really? So this is the first time then? For you? Yes, that's the first time for me. Um, uh, then, uh, how do you like it? I enjoy it pretty much. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because the differences uh -huh. in terms of, you know, the culturally, in terms of the food. Uh -huh. Yeah, lots of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really keen on learning. Uh, then, so you said that you are interested in Japan. I wanted to come to Japan for a long time. Then, uh, in which aspect do you were so drawn to Japan? So it actually started with, uh, more like fashion. Oh. Yeah, I was interested in Japanese Americana culture oh. and, uh. You mean clothing? Clothing. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. And that, you know, there is some amikaji stores, a oh. lot and different thrift stores, uh -huh. which, uh, which started at all. And then when I was, when I was a kid, I recall I was playing, uh, Shogun Total War, the game. Yeah. Shogun? Shogun Total War. Uh, it, it was a uh, computer game and uh -huh. strategy uh -huh. when you would play for different uh, clans uh -huh. in uh, Edo Empire uh -huh. and when the Tokugawa Shogunate uh -huh. came. Yeah, so wow. it was it was pretty cool, yeah, especially uh -huh. all the samurai aesthetics uh -huh. uh, and then also martial arts. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's all, that's, that's very cool. So the games you play, like, like a Japanese is it right. in Japanese language or no, is no, it no. translated? It, it, it was translated or localized. So localized. Oh, really? Huh. So you, uh, you found that game and you started... Pretty interesting, yeah. Interesting. Huh. So did you study a lot of uh, Japanese history then? Uh, a little, mm -hmm. yeah. So technically at school, we wouldn't do a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mostly certain part, generally around the samurai culture, the shogunates, mm -hmm. and then we would, you know, the huge part we would skip, mm -hmm. and then it would only come beginning of 20th century, because mm -hmm. I'm originally Russian, and there was, because we are neighbors, uh -huh. quite lots of conflicts, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, as usual between neighbors, uh -huh. yeah, so uh, we would be studying uh, the Russian-Japanese wars, mm -hmm. then, uh, of course, World War II, mm -hmm. and then it would finish because you know in the modern history uh we wouldn't uh study a lot mm -hmm. yeah so the for the commoner japan would be asso associated with a uh, high level of you know techniques uh different digital things i still recall from beginning of 90s mm -hmm. uh, we had uh this tv set with uh Video tape player uh, uh, from Sanyo. I, yes, so wow, that, that was pretty cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. She's telling me also Nintendo. Yeah, because we we played a lot uh, the games. I know, I know. Is it called a TV game or something like that? Uh, TV, TV set, you know, TV, like a, a video game, like, like a small TV uh -huh. and uh, a video mm -hmm. for the VHS. Uh, VHS. Yeah, so uh -huh. That was that. That was probably the first. I think I learned about Japan, <laughs> yeah, and then it was Nintendo and Sega. Mm. You know, so. And that, after that, you started to... Yeah, I, 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 I got into the games, like, a lot. <laughs> oh, I see. So, have you been to, like, those places in Japan, like, uh, where you can interact those, like, Nintendo, or... Uh, no, we, we're, we're going tomorrow uh, uh, to Universal Studios, uh -huh. where we're also... It's in Universal Studios. There's uh, a Nintendo, Nintendo section, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But, but you know, so far we've been to Kyoto, Tokyo, and Nara. Mm, I see. But well, in Tokyo, uh, did you go to Akihabara? Actually, I don't know. Uh, it, I, it's a, like a subcultural the city, or, and uh, there are many like, contemporary subcultural things are there so oh, this would be pretty interesting yeah 
the town. Yeah, it's not a really historical so, but uh, maybe you can see many interesting things about Japan there too. Mm. So, uh, how many days do you have in total in Japan? So, in total in Japan, I guess it's 12 days. 12 days. And it's, so, you're almost finishing then? Uh, your yes, travel? so we will be... How many left days? Going uh, tomorrow, Universal Studios, then the next day we will go back to Tokyo, mm-hmm. and we will spend around two or three days in Tokyo. Mm. So, Sunday, Mon- Monday, and... In the afternoon on Wednesday, Tuesday. we're flying back. Oh. On Tuesday, afternoon Tuesday, we're flying back. Yeah. Mm. And do you travel a lot in the world? Yes. Uh, I do mostly European part in the U.S. Uh-huh. R- rarely in uh, Eastern Hemisphere. Uh-huh. So I, I've been, apart from Japan, in Korea and in Thailand. Mm. So the, the Thailand, Japan, the, those the Asian countries are maybe are the similar or closer at least to, uh, the European countries. But among those Asian countries, do you think Japanese like a culture is a little bit different from other countries? Or? I think to me it would have or, more more respect some. and more formality. I I, formality. I would say. Yeah, because for the Thai culture, uh-huh. I have experienced people being less formal and you, you, oh, you can more s- casual. S- you mean more oh. casual? Exactly. Oh. Yeah, you you can sense it in terms of you know like the bowing oh. yeah, and you know how low people would go with it. Yeah, how they would be more more or less casual in their mm-hmm. conversation. So uh, in Japan, especially for people of elder age, uh-huh. most senior people, you would see that, you know, sometimes they bow, you know, like the way you can, yes, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, that I, I cannot go with the same low, yes, uh, so I, I would say it's pretty much uh, more, I would say, humble and showing more respect to people. I see. And did you feel any difficulties when you were in Japan so far? No, so Technically, it's quite easy to navigate. However, it's still big cultural shock. Oh, really? Because uh, uh, we would understand yeah. uh, the Cyrillic and Latin letters, mm-hmm. but with hieroglyphs, uh-huh. it's very hard. Yeah. yeah, especially sometimes when you need to find something on the ma- on the Google Maps, etc. Th- this would be totally different. Yeah, and I, I have also learned around the language uh-huh. that in Japanese people would have you know, like formal and casual tenses. Oh. Yeah, but not like, you know, feminine, masculine, uh-huh. neutral. Yeah, or for example, I, we, uh, he, she. Uh-huh. Yeah, so more or less the same. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that that was also a huge difference. Um, I don't know what other... Uh, uh, okay, okay. And a lot of need to have cash with you. Oh, the cash. <laughs> exactly, yeah, because still, we, yeah. We, we, we're used a lot to um, cashless the card uh-huh. yeah so you actually pay everywhere with card you you can do everything here a lot especially in the temples mm-hmm. yeah you, the you, you, you would need to have lots of money with you especially coins uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, also every time uh you pray that there is a small contribution here uh-huh. yeah so that, uh-huh. that, that that's pretty interesting so th- those things are cashless in your Country and the uh, uh, Switzerland, like uh, if you go to the like if you have a temple, but uh, those yeah, yeah. places so it, it, when it, you it, donate it, things, you, you, even in some uh, for the donation, yes, but it's you know mostly Lutheran and Protestant, yeah. yeah. So they uh, rarely donate, but there is a specific box uh-huh. for this. It's not necessary like to do uh-huh. every time, but mostly every. Cafe, restaurant, kind. would have it, you know, the cash machine. Uh, yeah, so you can pay, uh, you know, either you can withdraw the cash, so the ATMs. Mm. Uh, quite are, however, here it's very convenient. Mm. Uh, in the convenience stores, uh-huh. you have lots of ATM machines. I see, I see. Sometimes the restrooms are very unusual. <laughs> right here. Know, yeah. Especially also with, with, with the, with the height, you know, and, uh, you need like to stand really close, uh-huh. uh, to it. 
Yes, yeah, so okay. and the, the toilet paper uh -huh. uh, significantly thinner. Oh, really? Yeah, so we will we would have thicker one. Uh huh. Um, what? Thing? No, too little trash. Um, li li mm. very little trash bins. Right, right. Yeah, but uh, oh, what kind of like a thing would you like to uh, bring back to your uh, country, like a souvenir or any mentality? Anything you? Oh, so if you yeah, because it started with clothes, and I I already bought some. Oh, okay. yeah, but uh, a part a part of it in terms of mentality, I would say the humbleness. Um, because people are very humble uh -huh. and give a lot of respect to other people. Mm. Yes, yeah, so this is something uh, I would definitely uh, you know bring back and try to apply in my daily life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also. I bought some souvenirs, like, you know. Walking on the street. And no smoking on the streets. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic, yeah, that oh. you have a specifically dedicated area uh, yeah. for the smoke, uh -huh. for the smokers, uh -huh. where, they can, where they can enjoy uh -huh. while not bothering other people. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's fantastic, because, like, when it to be lame on the streets, uh -huh. and you would have a lot of people, you know, smoking almost in your face, etc., walking and smoking, yeah, so... Oh. In Switzerland, it's still yeah. you can't smoke anywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, that's just still still pretty big issue. Even on the platform, on the train, mm -hmm. you can still smoke, which is quite uncomfortable for oh. other people waiting. Yeah. Okay. But something which you know bothers me here versus Switzerland uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. is cyclists. So in Switzerland, uh -huh. people would be cycling exactly on the cycling line. And here in some, I haven't seen this in Osaka, but in Kyoto, in Tokyo, you would see a lot of, you know, cycling lanes. Uh -huh. But people would still cycle on pedestrian uh -huh. side, on, on the sidewalk. Yeah, and sometimes it's very uncomfortable because lots of people and they really need to maneuver. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, and t it's hard uh, to go through. And maybe, you know, sometimes umbrellas. Uh, People don't pay attention <laughs> and they do not try to maneuver their umbrellas. Oh. Yeah, and given mm. that in summer it's uh, either super hot uh -huh, uh -huh. or super wet and rainy, uh -huh. yeah, you, you would definitely have yeah. uh, the umbrella, but... You try to avoid other people, but uh -huh. some other people would be just, you know, uh -huh. going to. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so it's... Uh, yeah, I it's still tell these people, like like I, they're concerned about the bicyclist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's very difficult to ride because there is no specific lane in a certain area. Um, yeah. So, but at, at least the, uh, the cyclists should go slower. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah also, sometimes think. when they turn, yeah, yeah, you you go, they turn, and, yeah. and it's quite hard to man maneuver with them and uh, get away from their yeah. weight. Uh, All right. Thank you so much thank you very for much. your time. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Arigato thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much for your time <laughs> for being with us on our YouTube channel. First of all, where are you from? I'm from France. France? Yeah. Which part? Paris or...? Uh, I study in Paris, yeah. Oh, okay. I live in Marseille. Mm -hmm. Oh, from the, north, the south? Yeah. Uh, you're a university student? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, may I ask, what is your major? Uh, engineering. Oh, engineering? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, civil engineering? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Interesting. So, so this is your vacation, like a holiday? Uh, I have an internship in the Tokyo University. Tokyo University? Yeah. Oh. I have an internship. Oh, oh, oh I see. So basically you're working. Okay. You're going to work, I'm internship. Work. I'm working, actually. Uh, in the university? Yes. As a, like an assistant professor? Do you have for something like that? Both. I, I work with a searcher. Uh, Switcher. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So, and I work in the lab and I mm -hmm. make like simulations uh -huh. in the ordinator uh -huh. uh, to his studies. Uh -huh. for... So, simulation for the like a disaster kind of thing. So, it, it's uh, simulations because uh, so the name of the professor is Tato mm -hmm. Uh And so, he try on um, for the climate change oh. uh, to. Retire CO2 from the atmosphere. Uh -huh. So we work on that. Oh, okay. It's very interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. So for how long are you going to stay? I arrived in June and I'm here until September. Mm, so if, like it's 
three or four months. Yeah. He's going to ham Japan. Mm. And uh, this is your first time in Japan? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Fair. Uh, how do you like it? I, li- I like it very much. Uh-huh. Uh, I always liked it, even if I never went. Like, from France, I wanted so much to visit this country. Mm-hmm. Because lots of, you know, religion, culture, lots of museum, and very ancient right. things, like... Scientific thing? Uh, yes, oh. yes. And also um, a very old background. Oh, the history. Very, mm-hmm. so interesting. And also the lifestyle is incredible. Yeah. It's a mix with history and future. Mm-hmm. So I like this too. Yeah, it's especially you, you know, because you're uh, dealing with uh, uh, civil engineering, you have to know the history, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why you you have to research the, the Japanese history too, probably. Uh, so uh, how about the, like a uh, subculture? Uh, are you interested in like uh, manga or anime and those yeah. things too? Yeah. Um... Uh, uh, when I was younger, uh-huh. I read a lot of manga. Mm. Now, now I watch more anime. Uh-huh. Thank uh, you. But yes, I really like it. And I want to see the Museum of Manga. It's near to Osaka, no? Oh, ma- Museum of Manga. Oh. No? I, I think so. I don't know. Uh, is this specific person, like a, it's a manga? Is it a manga in general? You know? uh, yes, I think it's a Museum of Manga in oh, like history of manga. I want to see it. Oh, oh, I did. Do you know Tezuka Osamu? It's a atomic atomic boy or something. Like she's very old and she's yeah. not. He's not uh, already deceased, but uh, yeah, he's uh, like uh, the big ma- master of manga in Japan. And his mu- uh, museum is in like a Takarazuka somewhere. It's a thirty minutes, forty minutes away from the center. I think it's this place, yeah. Yeah, there is a yeah interesting museum, but oh, okay. <laughs> and so you're here since June, you said. Ah, uh, have you traveled a lot in Japan? Uh, no, uh, I live in Tokyo, and mm. so it's the first time I leave from Tokyo to go in other city. So, so, it's, it's so this is the first kind of chance to go. Other than Tokyo, yes, yeah, it's the first city. Uh, I visit. Okay. Um, which part of Tokyo did you explore or walk around the Tokyo University? Uh, or Yes, I uh, went to Tokyo University, but also uh, I, sp- I spent a lot of time in Shibuya, Shinjuku. Mm. I like to visit the um, temple. Mm. Did you find something interesting for you? Like surprising thing? Uh, and, uh, excited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything. Think, oh. No, I really liked uh, the temple uh, Meiji. Meiji Jingu. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, uh, so impressive because in the middle of a very lovely city mm-hmm. and, and you just make a step in the big garden uh-huh. and so silence and so peaceful and it's in the middle of the city so incredible oh um, yeah i think it's a pretty big area too. yeah yeah uh, she's uh currently yeah okay so now from here where are you going after osaka uh-huh. uh, so i'm going to nara mm-hmm. and then uh, kyoto oh. and then i have to go back to archers <laughs> oh, <laughs> go back to the laboratory <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. But uh, how about uh, like Japanese food? Did you like it? Ah, uh, yes, my favorite food. Uh, it's like it's my birthday every day. I have birthday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I eat it every day. My favorite food. So, uh, do you prepare so, by yourself or by myself? Uh, did you cook by yourself for your birthday? You uh, I don't know. Uh, uh-huh. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not my birthday today. Uh, it's like because it's always it's every day my favorite food. Uh-huh. So the same here. So it's like a birthday every day. You know. You oh. eat every day your favorite food. It's oh. like you eat a new food, like a every Japanese day. food, every day. Ah. And Japanese food is my favorite kind of food. Oh. So I'm so happy. I'm so glad. And it's pretty cheap here. I see. So it's very cool. Oh, so you don't have a favorite, like Japanese food. You oh. you like everything. <laughs> every new thing I try, I like it so much. For this lunch of today, uh, I ate. Um, Take, uh, take, takoyaki. Takoyaki. Oh. So good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> I see. Uh, but I love, uh, yes, uh, curry, ramen, everything. So, mm. Have you ever been to other 
country? Yes. Oh. Before this internship, I was in uh, Mexico City for oh. an exchange. Oh, cool. And uh, Teotihuacan and stuff. Yes, those are okay. uh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yes. a great I mean, pyramid. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Can you go up there or it's it's prohibited already? Uh, before you can, yes. but now yes. you can't. You can, yeah. Uh, because since COVID, they stop everything. Mm. Yeah, when I went there, I, really? I could... Yeah, it's like a couple of de- <laughs> decades ago. Okay. Yeah, I could, yeah, cram down. So. Yeah, oh, so cool. Uh, I just become them. So you went to Mexico and yes. uh, and other city and yeah. the, the country. Uh, I, I think I visit uh, of Mexico. Uh-huh. Not only Mexico City. I went in Yucatan. Yeah. I went in uh, Oaxaca. California. Oaxaca. Yes. Mm. How about Guadalajara? And... Guadalajara. Yes, <laughs> yes, I went. Very for lots of uh, students. Yeah. But so full city. How about the Guanajuato? Do you know? When I went to, ah, uh, I went in Querétaro, oh, and then my other friend mm-hmm. went in Guadalajara mm. because we were hesitating on which cities we should try. But because in Querétaro there is a lot of wine, I wanted to. Ah, uh, let to see. The trek. Yeah, I went to uh, Guanajuato because I wanted to see the the mummy museum. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's a different kind of mummies from Egypt. Yes, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the Egypt they were wrapped with uh, like a cloth. But uh, okay. the Mexico, the Guanajuato, the, the mummies are, it's just buried, I think. So it looks different. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> so how about the uh, like Asian countries? Have you been? I went in uh, Malaysia. Mm-hmm. That's so Okay. So the comparing with like uh, those countries you've been, mm-hmm. yeah. What do you think the like uh, strong characteristics of Japan? Are? I don't think that. I don't know if this will make sense, mm. but to me, Japan is very clear and clean. Like, um, for example, oh, clothes. Clothes of people. The clothes? Yes, are simple and comfortable. You know? Oh, simple and comfortable. And comfortable. Oh. I, I, it's what I see from that. Like, It's not so colorful, you know? Uh, is that a... Maybe, but oh. also very modest and comfortable. Oh. That's oh, modest. I, oh. I don't know how to say. Right, right. But very... It's not so flashy. Always very... Uh, chic. <laughs> yes, chic and comfortable. Comfortable. And right. I think it's the same in the city. Uh-huh. Like the the urban way, uh, building in, and streets are always clean uh-huh. and comfortable to work. Oh. And we can see that it. people think about the fact that other people will walk and... That it's important that uh, the citizens are comfortable in the city. Uh-huh. Same for the tree sports. Uh-huh. Everywhere uh-huh. is very comfortable and simple, uh-huh. except for temples. A uh-huh. lot of um, details. Uh-huh. But in the other, it's always very simple and clear and oh. fun and everything. Wow, in- interesting perspective <laughs> and interesting comparison like between the, like, the clothes the people yeah, uh-huh. wear and uh-huh. the streets. And, uh, <laughs> but because said- I, w- I went in Mexico just... Uh-huh. Uh, months ago, so I, I can compare very easily. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I see, I see. Um, okay, okay. Well, oh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.